Hello and welcome to this session on file handling in Python. Today we are going to discuss the concepts of how to handle files in Python. Though this concept is not new and is pretty common in languages like Java and C++, but we are going to see the syntaxes which are being used in file handling in Python. Now let's see what's in it for us today. We will understand what is file handling. We will go through certain file handling operations. Then we will understand how to open a file in Python using various modes, which are pretty important. And then we will discuss the file handling process, the different types of files which we can create and advantages of using files. Now, what is file handling? A file contains a collection of data and information. It is just like a data storage. So the data can be updated and shared through files with multiple stakeholders. Now, file handling in Python performs functions such as creating, reading, updating, and deleting. So you can perform the basic CRUD operations using the file handling functions and operators. Now in Python, file operation takes place in the following order. In order to work on a file, you have to first open a file. That is the first and foremost step. And then you can perform any read or write operation and then you have to close the file. So these three primary steps are involved in order to do any operation on a file. Now in Python, we can work with files using the open function and it takes two parameters, the file name and the mode. So here you can see the syntax. If you do not give the mode parameter, then it takes the default values, which we're going to see in our next slide. But at least you need to give the name of the file with the extension. Now, what are the various modes in which you can perform operations on a file? Let's go through them one by one. You can open a file, first of all, in the read mode, which is the default mode. And it opens a file for reading. But if the file does not exist, it throws an error. Right. Second is append a. It opens a file for appending, creates the file if it does not exist. So in this mode, if the file does not exist, exists, it gets created. Similarly, in the write operation, it opens a file for writing and creates the file if it does not exist. So A and W will create the file. X, it creates specified file, returns an error if the file exists. So you cannot create an already existing file. You need to give a different name. Then the next mode is the T mode, the text mode, which is the default value. So, so by default, when you open a file in Python, you are basically opening it in default read text mode. And the next mode is the binary mode. If you specify B, it means that you're trying to open an image or any binary mode related file which cannot be opened in a text mode. So we will see certain examples of these modes in our Jupyter Notebook when we will run certain examples on a sample file. Now, what is the file handling process, right? So in, in a plain vanilla process, first, of course, you will create a file and then you will open a file, update and close the file. So the first thing which you can do, but in the from the function standpoint, like we saw in our previous slide, even if you have to create a file, you have to call the uh, uh, function open. Then you have to read it, you write in it, and then you close it. First thing which you have to do in order to uh, interact with the file is always make a call to the open function. And then you pass the file name and the mode as a parameter. Now, as we discussed, there are two modes. There are two types of files in Python, text file and binary file. So in text file, the data is stored in characters and string and in binary file, the data is stored in the form of bytes, but the bytes file, which you store, you can store in a different extension and it can be read by other utilities or tools or softwares, which are meant for reading the binary files, but you can interact or you can perform certain functions using the Python operators and the open functions, which are available. 
text file is a simple uh, uh, concept. You open the file, you can write, append, update the data, and you can open the file in your operating system and see your changes. So we are going to perform our examples on a text file where we will show you how you can view your changes by opening a file real time. Now there are some preliminary advantages, basic advantages of using files. Your this data is stored and is permanent. Basically it resides in the file and then it is up to you. How do you save the data in the file in the operating system or you process that data? in some uh, secure area and that is up to you and the stored data can be shared definitely you can mail the data you can share it in a hard drive you can share it on a network drive etc and you can update the data in the file so you can append you can override you can remove you can delete the file all those operations all those possibilities are there so now let's create our Jupyter Notebook with certain examples. So what I have done here is I have already created certain sample files where I have some predefined context there. So I have a simply learn.txt file in which I have written today is Thursday in one line tomorrow is Friday and I am waiting for weekend. Now I'm going to read this file. So I'll import the package in order to read the file. I'll create the file object. Now in this, I have given the path where my file is residing today.txt. The same content is there. And I'm going to be opening it in the read mode. So it's the default mode, but I'm calling it out explicitly for a better understanding. Now, this is the read command file.read. This operator, this will read the entire file. So if you see in my file, all the contents are printed. Now, if I want to read the first seven characters of my file, so what will this do? It will read the first seven characters of the first line of my file. So in the first command, my file.read printed all the contents but here I have passed a parameter to the read function to print only the first character, seven characters. So that's what it has done. Now I will ask my function to read line by line. So now what is the difference between this and this? The difference is that the file.read read the entire file in one go, but here it is allowing me to read only one line at a time. Okay. So this function of read line will only go and read the line. Now, if I have to read all lines one by one, right now, here I have printed one line. Now I want to print all lines one by one. Then there is a different function, which is file dot read lines. And it will print an array. And of course, you can see there's a slash and operator because it's a different line. So it will print my diff three different lines in an array. Today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, and I'm waiting for weekend. Now, like I gave this example of file.read seven characters. 
in the similar fashion i can also provide how many characters to read from the line correct so from the first line it has given me the first three characters and here in the file dot read it was starting to reading uh, starting to read the entire file but i only limited to the seven characters now let's take a look at the write function write method so now in my today.txt file i now pass the mode w and i'll override it with my new content which is the sunday and monday and say file.close and run it now i can go and check it's been overridden now i'm going to create a new file let me create a new file and add contents to that uh, i'll create simply2.txt and run and a new file has got created with the content sunshine so here i have passed the mode as x now i want to delete a file i will just simply pass os dot remove there is no open function to be called and just give the name of the file and my today dot txt file is gone even i can put a check before removing a file whether the file exists or not if it exists then remove else print that the file does not exist there is no file now if i want to print line by line i'll show you one another example if i want to print line by line then the example is import and file dot in the loop and you print the output so basically you can if you want to print the lines in a loop then you need to put the for command for loop and put the read lines call in the loop i hope you guys had a great learning session and i'll meet you in my next session thank you Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.